Well, as you saw in my last video, the e-bike was making a funny noise. Um, I don't even know if I had this motor to top speed before. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is the one I've got off eBay for 70 quid. Um, it seemed like a bit of a bargain at the time. It's an old Crystal Lake. Um, aluminium core, so it can handle a lot more power than your typical Nine Continents clones. I've had a Crystal Lake Crown motor, motor in the past, high speed one that was incredibly fast on the Vector bike. Um, I might build another one of those at some point, we'll see how it goes. Um, but this was just a little cheapy throw it together sort of job and um, had two eight, um, 6S LiPos in parallel and then another two, and they were in Eries with another two. Um, no, sorry, three. So it was for two, two P, three S um, of six S batteries. So you know that was um, eighteen S in total with um, two in parallel. Anyway, um, that was you know pretty quick. But I did um, the lithium polymers are coming to the end of their life, and I've got that big old EIG battery that I plan on putting in a frame, as in in an actual frame, not in a ammo crate at the back. Um, I did see a video of a e bike battery. Um, exploding in China and it was a lithium polymer pouch cell now the RC car batteries the worst I've ever seen is a little bit of flame and a little bit of smoke when you intentionally try and stick a nail through it or something and that's it um, <laughs> I've been doing it with them for like over 10 years um, 18650s I've always thought they're worse because they explode well not really because I saw this video and it was like damn in certain situations that was just the flames were incredible so I won't be putting that big battery in the ammo crate just in case something does go wrong it's much better off inside an actual bike frame itself like a vector frame anyway i'm getting a bit off topic here this is a um, crystal lake motor as i said before got it off ebay for 70 quid ran it for a couple of months and um it's been quite dry lately but it was full of water when i took it apart and um it was making a clicking noise the reason it was making a clicking noise is these shielded not even sealed shielded bearings are totally stuffed this one's really stuffed You can sort of see and hear that. Yeah. Um, this one feels fine, but they're obviously going to be both replaced. So, yeah. There is some corrosion in here from the water. Quite a lot of it, actually. But the motor is still good, still works. Even those hole effect sensors, touch wood, are still working. <laughs> they did work yesterday. So, yeah, look at the state of them. Holy crap. <laughs> Like what the? I think I better order a set of those. <laughs> I don't think I've got any in stock. I better buy some. They look like they're hanging on for dear life. Um, yeah, it is a sensorless capable controller though, so it won't leave me stranded in the middle of nowhere. If you've got a non-sensorless capable controller, then and it looks like that, then I'll definitely say replace them immediately. Um, and then it'd be sodded all the ones you bought or duds. But you know, <laughs> hey ho. So yeah, that's the uh, stator itself. Pretty beefy. Oh, I've not got my uh, ruler handy to check the actual width of it. I suppose, well, the actual width of it is this piece here, so it's not massive at all, really. It's, I don't know what, 30 mil, so nothing huge. But then you've got the uh, copper at the ends of the stator coming out like it is for reasons that I'm, yeah. Most of them are not quite like that. It's kind of like they've got, it looks like a spaghetti bolognese almost. It's kind of funny. Um... But it is an aluminium state, of course, so it's still better than a lot of your cheapy motors. This has been run on a 300 watt controller all its life, so, you know, it's not been cooked or anything. The mess you're seeing is simply the corrosion and rust coating the windings. But they're still good for now, so, yeah, we'll carry on. I'll check the axle for cracks with some... I need to get some dye penny stuff, really. I'll do a visual inspection for now. Clean it up and have a look. Because the old H-series were known for cracking. I don't know about this. I think it's X-series, but I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, he did say what it was, but I couldn't find any information online about that. So if anyone recognises that side cover and can tell me what this motor is, then let me know. Yeah, that concludes this video.